I think one of the exciting things about industrial design is that it's a growing discipline um, and that we're general enough that we can pair up with lots of different other types of disciplines. Um, industrial designers work a lot with say mechanical engineers so even though a designer may not be um, as technically minded as an engineer um, learning how to come together for the greater good is really interesting um, and to be skilled in the design process in general is really interesting it uh, kind of can be applied to a lot more things than just product design. Um, it can be used in, like, uh, when you think of business systems or um, different ways of going about just doing everyday problem solving. Um, it's a really interesting discipline to have, mm -hmm. to, to have that background. Um, I mean, I like industrial design because it's, you kind of have that, that artistic, creative, um, outlet, but you're also doing a lot of problem solving and different things like that. Like, I grew up really into math and science, but I also like art, and so it's kind of, those are two different niches to be in, and industrial design kind of merges those together, mm -hmm. so um, that's really cool to have that um, problem solving background, but also to be able to have a creative outlet. And it really merges those and allows us to um, tackle different um, life problems in a, in a fun way. <laughs> um, so industrial design, I mean, I think on a really general level, industrial design is the product. It, it's what goes within the home, the building. Mm -hmm. um, Whereas architects are looking, I guess industrial design is kind of that like micro level, and architecture is that macro level. Um, that's kind of how I like to think about it. But um, I mean, you can correct me because I don't know that much about architecture. But um, I think a lot of our um, design thinking is a little bit different. Um, I feel like there's different levels of conceptualization. Um, whereas architects are looking at this whole system and how it works together and um, conceptualizing on such a, a large scale, we conceptualize on a lot more of a, a human level. How does the person interact with it rather than uh, is it just beautiful or um, rather than how people are taking it in. And I feel like architecture is a lot of um, the visual sensory mm -hmm. feeling, whereas industrial design, there's definitely an element you want your products to be beautiful, but there's more of that tactile, like how are you interacting with it and how does it affect your life? Mm -hmm.